Greetings from Norway. What an incredible year FMI has had. This year, we have drilled eight new wells in Malawi and built eight new chicken coops. That's 14 villages that we're serving now. That's about 20,000 people we're providing clean water to and enough protein for their kids to have a healthier diet. In addition to that, Cyclone Freddy struck Malawi. It's the worst cyclone in the Indian Ocean in recorded history. And it devastated Falombe and southern Malawi where we're at work. 400 families were put out of homes. So far, we've been able to help 175 families to get land and to be trained so they can be self-sufficient farming their own land and taking care of themselves. Now, at least 225 families we're still hoping next year to raise money for and also help them become self-sustaining and rebuild their lives. In addition to that, we still have five Bible schools in Malawi that are training pastors, over 350 churches, 65 of those have been planted as a part of FMI's uh, work there in Malawi. It's, it's just really exciting to see what God is doing in, in such a difficult place. Also because of Cyclone Freddy, one of the preschools was, was destroyed and we've rebuilt it and we're raising money right now and we'll, we've got enough money coming in so that in the new year we'll be building a new toilet and kitchen at that preschool. Those were also destroyed, but we didn't have enough money yet to rebuild them. So a lot of good work going on there. But beyond Malawi and other parts of Africa, we still have training going on with other leaders. We're looking at possibly a Bible school in Uganda. Uh, I'll be down there in February and looking at if there's a way for us to partner with a large uh, Protestant university there to do something in the west side of the country. Uh, so it's just, it's really exciting to see all of the, the leaders training, the Bible training. Next year, we're also looking at providing some more um, transportation to missionaries on the river in Puerto Narida in Colombia. So I'm really excited. I may be back in Bogota, actually, in, in a couple of months as well. So we're, we're glad to see God opening up doors there and this new funding has come in for that. Uh, we're also uh, really excited about the political side of ministry. When you impact national leaders, it gives you a chance to impact the nation. It impacts people across, across the country. It impacts church leaders. It's, it's just really a privilege to be able to sit in some of the meetings I've gotten to be in and minister to some of the people. So this year I attended for the first time ever the National Prayer Breakfast in Washington, D.C. I also attended a, a similar meeting in Kathmandu, Nepal, with leaders who are not believers. They don't follow Jesus, but they invited us in, and I'm getting to minister to people in that country where they have anti-conversion laws. But we're able to build relationships and hope to see positive impact and change. Out of that, an invitation has come for South Sudan. And there's a number of other countries that I'm also uh, working with, but I don't want to say too much here as it's, there's some sensitivities there uh, around uh, some of that work. But it's really exciting. I'm looking forward to being back in Washington, D.C., in just a number of weeks for the National Prayer Breakfast for 2024 and seeing what doors God continues to open. Also planning next year to be back in Malawi with my friend John Gerlock. Uh, he's been a big proponent of our work there. His, his church, Crestview Baptist Church in Midland, Texas, has been making donations to help a lot of the work that we've been doing in Malawi. And so the two of us plan next fall to make a trip there and to do some ministry together, which I'm really excited about, to see what's going on in the ground with our own eyes and see how else we can continue to invest in this country. We're also looking at possible projects in places like Lesotho, uh, which is in Southern Africa. So just really excited. This year, I actually got to do a tour in Lesotho and South Africa with my friend Richard Blackaby. And it was just a really exciting time to minister alongside him. We did some leadership ministry. We preached in Soweto. Um, just what a privilege with a guy like him. If you don't know his name, if you look it up, he's, he's a great author, a great Christian leader. And so the two of us can do a tour together. We also did a tour this year in Argentina, the two of us. We went to three different, four different cities. We were on TV in every nation in the Americas except Canada and Brazil, live television. It was really exciting to be on a TV show with him, uh, to get to speak. One, one church, we were asked to speak only to their leaders, but it was a mega church. And we come in and we get on stage and there's about a thousand people. I think it was 900 and something leaders at this church. And so what a great time to be able to do that with my friend Richard. And, and I'm hoping God will open up more doors for the two of us to do ministry together. So it's been a great year. Ministry in Argentina, ministry in Lesotho and in South Africa, and, and the work going on in Malawi and in Mozambique and opportunities in, in Nepal. And now looking for the year ahead with South Sudan and with Uganda and with being back in Malawi and with Colombia. So, so God is continuing to bless the ministry and bless our impact. Financially, it never feels like there's, there's as much money as we'd like to see, uh, but we keep doing daring things for God and He keeps providing. And so the accounts are low right now, uh, so I would ask you to, to just consider giving an end-of-the-year gift. 
um, but also praying about how you can partner with us in the year to come because there's a lot of things that we believe God's calling us to. And we, we believe God's going to provide the finances. When, when you do God's work God's way, you never lack God's resources. But he uses God's, his own people. God uses his people to meet those needs. So I just humbly submit to you, please prayerfully consider whether it's end, an end of the year gift or, or a reoccurring gift next year. We really appreciate you partnering with us. If there's a church that you're part of, and maybe their missions department would want to start giving some grants, we'd appreciate that. Also be praying for us in the year to come. I'm hoping to pursue more grants from other organizations, but it's going to cost us some money to be able to hire the right people like a grant writer and a, and a fundraising advisor so that we can go after those grants. So it's going to cost money up front, but in the end, it should generate a lot more income for F my so we can really expand the work but i need your prayers and your support so we can actually get over that hump and, and get to that point it's kind of a, a compression point now that we're at as we're looking towards what we believe god's calling us to do and the opportunities and wanting to be able to meet those those opportunities and make the impact that he has for us god god can do more as he says in ephesians 3 20 than we can possibly imagine uh, god is often calling us to to have a vision and faith far greater than what we would ever have in and of ourselves and we realize that that he can do so much more than we can do in our own strength and to stop trying to only work in our own strength, but to do all that he has for us and to just trust him for that. That's what he did with Moses and Joshua and King David fighting Goliath to say, look, I can do far more through you than ever imagined, but you've got to stop trusting yourself and you've got to be willing to trust in me to deliver. And so that's our goal. That's our heart at FMI is we want to follow God and the things he calls us to, even when they seem way too big for a small ministry like ours. But we are so thankful for partners like you who have been partnering with us to spread the stories on Facebook, to give to us financially, to pray for us. And we hope that you'll continue doing that in the year ahead. So thank you so much. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and I can't wait to see what God's going to do through FMI in 2024. God bless you all.